there seems to be a lot of demand for more sustainably produced meat and poultry. And especially if that is local and it has other qualities, like it comes from family farms or, you know, it comes from places where the land is treated well. But there are certainly some challenges in trying to get that meat to market. And overall, it's still a very, very, very small percentage of the amount of meat and poultry that is sold every day in this country. There's a lot of reasons to like sustainably produce food. But why isn't there more of it? Why is it so limited? Why is it so boutique? And obviously, over the last decade, it's grown, but it's still pretty small. So what are the barriers to scale? I've always been interested in how do you scale up and what are the things that maybe change as you scale up? What are the things you might have to sacrifice or what gets enhanced as you scale up? So what are the dynamics of that? So I work on two levels. I Here in Oregon, I work uh, in the state with our state's livestock producers, but also other people in that supply chain. One of the things that I'm really proud of is that um, in Oregon, uh, I feel I feel that I'm really making a difference in terms of market opportunities for Oregon's um, livestock farmers. So, for example, over the last three years, I've worked to try to get established a thousand bird exemption, mirroring the federal exemption for small scale poultry processing in Oregon. And it's been a long slog, and I've worked with the legislature and with the state ag regulators, and we finally got it. And then rulemaking was endless, but we finally got it. And so I feel that, you know, this is a, it's very small. These are micro enterprises, but it's really useful. I also work on the national level. I uh, co-founded with my colleague, Arian Taboumery. He and I put together a network about four years ago called the Niche Meat Processor Assistance Network. And that is a group of organiza- uh, people and organizations all around the country who have some interest and often some expertise in trying to support the small scale meat and poultry processing infrastructure that's necessary to move these kinds of products to market. I'm working right now also with the Oregon Health Authority at the state level and with the Department of Ag on how they're going to deal with food code and specialty meat products and this is a this is something that I'm able to help with because I have this network. I have MPAN and I can call the executive director of the Meat Processors Association that represents small plants and small butcher shops and say, okay, Jay, you know the industry, you know food science, how do you think Oregon should be shaping its laws? And he says, well, let me tell you, Lauren, da-da-da-da-da-da. And it's really exciting to me to be able to bring in this outside expertise and help Oregon figure out how to have a sane approach to these kinds of products. We're hoping to take that and then show as an example at the national level too.